What is up guys, MiniBean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This, guys, is going to be the WWE Money in the Bank 2014 Arena. Before we get into it, guys, I do just want to uh, apologize and just let you guys know why I haven't uploaded a video in about a week. Um, I've been working on a bunch of stuff kind of in the background for the channel, a bunch of new stuff that's going to be coming out hopefully pretty soon, stuff that I can't exactly talk about yet and stuff that I can't exactly really show. So it's just stuff that's been taking up quite a bit of my time, but like I said, they will be coming out soon and you guys will be able to get to see what I'm talking about here in the near future. Anyway, guys, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the arena. So here we will walk through our main entrance, and obviously you can already see we got a ton of ladders. This is going to be the arena. I think it looks absolutely awesome. The ring or the uh, stage area I think looks really really cool. The stage area is basically going to have it's going to be that stage setup that we've seen before. It was like that 2000. I want to say it was like 13 or 14 to like 2016 stage setup. It might have been before 2013. I don't know how long they actually actually no. I guess it's way longer because we did the 2011 stage and it was like that. So they had this stage setup for quite a while. But yeah, so this is going to be for Money in the Bank, as you guys can see. Um, basically, one of the things we've got are all the different ladders that um, are set up in the front, which I think looks really cool. The biggest thing with this stage is it was very, very uh, compact with having the, uh, the big armored trucks with the ladders on top and then all the ladders around it. It was super compact. Here you guys can see these are a couple of the, LED the smaller LED screens they had on the floor that were just kind of placed in here among everything so I mean it was pretty compact for the most part but that's one of the things that makes the money in the bank um, stage setup so cool is they've always got all the ladders and stuff so it's always I think it's compact but it looks really really cool um, our overhead ring lighting is going to be what we've already seen before our ringside area very basic to what we've seen before nothing really crazy there um, but yeah the stage is really the thing that sets it apart but I love how the ladders look I love the armored trucks how they look I can kind of come around here a little bit to the side so you guys can kind of see a little bit of a better view of what they look like. But yeah, I think the armored trucks look, look absolutely awesome. Plus having the ladders just standing on top of it, the super tall ladders on top of it with all the other little ladders around it, I think just looks really, really cool. The color scheme I've got, I think, damn near perfect. We've got the green with the gold. I decided to go with the gold instead of the yellow because I think the way that they kind of set it up, um, it's, it's more of a goldish color, in my opinion, than a yellow. So yeah, I think it looks absolutely awesome. And this was a pay-per-view. I don't know if you guys remember. This was when Seth Rollins won the Money in the Bank ladder match, which he then ended up cashing in at WrestleMania 31. And then I believe the pay-per-view ended with John Cena winning a ladder match for the World Heavyweight title. So, yeah, this is what the arena looks like, guys. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I am definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. Let me pop down here, and I will turn on that intro pyro for the show. There we go. And there you guys can see we've just got a huge cluster of fireworks shooting off that are going to be green and white. This pay-per-view did have some more fireworks shooting off around the top and the sides due to time constraints. Because I wanted to get this video out before I leave this weekend, I was wasn't I wasn't able to put some of those extra features in there. But with the, a lot of the pay-per-views, a lot of the pyro is pretty similar. So I mean, you kind of, in my opinion, the way I think about it is, you win some, you lose some. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I wanted to get that done. It is Labor Day weekend this weekend, um, at least in the United States. I don't know about the rest of the world. but um, So I'm going to be camping all weekend. It's Friday right now, so I'm going to record this and upload this today, and then I'm going to be gone all weekend. So I just wanted to get this all taken care of. So yeah, this is the arena, guys. I think it looks awesome. Definitely comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. And as always, guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to see some exclusive time lapses and other exclusive content, guys, make sure you head down in the description to my Patreon account. For literally as low as a dollar a month, you guys will get to see some awesome exclusive content that only the folks that help support me are going to get to see. And then also, if you want to directly help support my channel, guys, you can head down in the description to my online store. Um, that's where you can get yourself some awesome Mini Bean 75 merchandise, and you can directly help support the channel that way. Plus, like I said, you get some awesome merchandise, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so I hope you guys have an awesome Labor Day weekend, guys. Stay safe. Have fun. I will catch up with you guys next week once I get back home from um, camping with my family. So have a good one, guys. I love you. See you later.